I believe that the days of college, become a pastor, don't know God, but you get to run a church, are over. Hi everyone, thank you for joining. I'm going to title this video, The Presence of the Father. Now the reason why I'm even going to say that and why I'm coming back here a little, what has it been like, four, four weeks or so since I've done a video, is because I felt like it was time to take a step back after having done my first series, really my first anything on YouTube, and I wanted to, I wanted to come in refreshed. And so the only way to come in refreshed is to step back. And what I did is I stepped back and I got in the presence of the Father. Now, it wasn't just like I was um, just with the Father for four months straight doing absolutely nothing else. It was a time for me to step back, kind of evaluate the channel and everything that I was on a path toward, be willing to kind of wipe it all clean, get in the presence of the Father, and come out refreshed with a new direction. And, and honestly, the, the direction could have been just the same direction. That would have been great confirmation. But that's not what actually happened. What, what has happened is being in the presence of the Father, intentionally taking that effort to step back and to place myself at the feet of Jesus in the presence of the Father, get with the Holy Spirit and connect for a period of time, pretty significant on a regular basis. That way I would come back and, and I, would, I would come back exactly as the Father wanted me to come back. And then, and right now in this moment, here's the picture that I'm getting. You know, you know how Jesus would go pray and, and he would come back from prayer and he would do all these things and he'd go back and pray. He said things like, I only do what I've seen the Father do. But he would come back from these places of fasting or prayer with the Father before he really did anything. And I'm finding out that's kind of the, what's happening to me. As, and, and that's for the direction of this whole channel. And what we're going to talk about today, I want that to be kind of the, the, the restart or the new tone of Position Studios position ministries and what we're aiming to do here. But as far as actually making videos, traditionally having scripted content is the most comfortable for me. But I don't want to just do things that are comfortable for me. I want to step out and I really want to rely less on scripted content. And I want to be able to, in the moment and in the unction of the Holy Spirit, be able to bring content and discussions that are not just relevant because of the sake of being relevant, but really in sync with what the Holy Spirit's doing in light, especially in light of where we are today in our culture and with uh, the direction that our country's taking in all these different things. And I know this will date this video and that's okay, but right now we've got the kind of coming out of the COVID-19 thing. We're in phase two of coming back in. We've, uh, we, we just before that went through uh, an attempt to impeach the president. And now we're seeing these riots. I don't really want this channel to become some kind of political place for me to state my political stuff. So I'm not gonna do that here, but I am gonna tell you that I feel for the family. I feel, I, I, I watched the video that's unacceptable, right? Here's what's also unacceptable. Destroying. The thief comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And what we're seeing is we're seeing people kill, steal, steal kill, and destroy on the streets. And so I'm just going to let that sit there. And there's, there's a place that I want to go. But I want us to understand where we are in light of the direction of this channel. Because I want people to be able to kind of come back to this video and possibly I'll refer people back to this video to get kind of an idea of how the channel started 
and where we took a different direction. One of the things that I initially kind of did, which was pretty fun, was I started off, the first video was a little bit of comedy. We made light of, um, of scripture in Ephesians, the equipping of the saints. And I posted scriptures up on the screen, kind of like in this area. I also put up a lot of images and that was fun. But be, after coming out of being refreshed with the Lord, this is just not the channel that he wants me to put together. It's not a, it's not for entertainment, although uh, I am going to label it under entertainment because I'm not, not profit or activism. I don't, I don't understand. I'm not part of that. They didn't have anything saying the kingdom of God in the category. So I'm just going to go entertainment just to, in spite of YouTube and whatever. But I'm really excited for this new direction. I'm coming refreshed and I have the freedom to just be me and I don't have to worry about trying to make the videos do what they need to do. So I will just continue to push out content and hear from the Lord. And I, one thing I do want to have stick is I want to see a community of people kind of gather around this idea of being positioned because I think a lot of us don't realize and, and maybe haven't fully grasped that the scriptures don't say anything about the gospel of salvation. I'm going to say that very boldly. You just don't find the gospel of salvation from hell, that you're a sinner saved by grace, but you're always a sinner, even though somehow you're born again, but you're still a sinner. You don't see that at all in the scripture. What you see is John the Baptist talks about the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And Jesus says the gospel of the kingdom multiple times. He just It's the gospel of the kingdom. So we really need to grasp what the gospel of the kingdom is. And in this video, I'm not going to exhaust all of these kind of things. And ultimately, I'm going to bring us right back to being the presence of the Father. And how does this relate to being in the kingdom? Well, let's kind of take a moment and just imagine imagine a kingdom, right? I mean, kind of the, some of the first things that we're going to think about is like a castle. We've got a king's going to rule in this castle. Uh, in my mind, I see the castle and then I see like a courtyard and then I see a city. And you got these different levels of interaction with people. So you got your common people kind of living in the, in the town around it. Then there's maybe maybe some kind of a, like an inner courtyard. And so inside the courtyard is going to be maybe not just your common folks, but you're going to have maybe some of the king's guards and you're going to have um, possibly the, the religious people, the church or the whatever are inside that inner area. But then you have the throne room, right, of the king. And the king is going to be in the throne room, right? And then you're going to have like the generals, you know, for lack of a better term, you're going to have your high ranking military folks. You're going to have your, uh, with your wise counsel. So you're going to have like, I don't know, the equivalent of your kind of the religious people, but without saying, you know, whatever religious people. So you're going to have your, your, your kind of hierarchy and you're going to have people that are going to be addressing the king in all these proper ways and they're going to be cut and dry and they're going to be saying exactly what they think the king wants them to hear. But then guess what's beyond the, um, that, that kind of courtroom or chamber or whatever you want to call it in the background in the home is the, is the king's family, right? So the prince, princess, and the wife, they're going to actually know the king. The children of the king are going to actually know him in a way that all of the other people in the whole kingdom don't know him. And so the picture I really want to draw out of this is in America, here's what I feel or what I can see prophetically that we have going on in a lot of what we would call the church. We have people who have been maybe, maybe in the courtroom or in the, in the chamber, whatever you, you know, the, the, uh, 
the throne rooms, <laughs> the throne room. So you got people in the throne room that have met the king. They know who the king is. And then they go talk to the folks about the king. And so they've got probably a better grasp than the people that are just outside in the courtyard who maybe heard about the king from the people inside the courtroom or the, the throne room. And then they go tell about, they go tell the folks about the king. They go tell the, the commoners about the king, but not from a place of really knowing him, but from knowing people who knew him. And so you got people who desperately want to know the king, but they can't get into the court or into the, into the throne room. But imagine that one of the king's children goes straight out into the streets and says, you got some people kind of preaching from a soapbox saying this about the king and this and this and this. But then you've got somebody who's actually the son of the king who says, no, you know, uh, that's not my father. He, that's, you know, I know he's, he's made these decrees and this is the things that he said, but, but I know him. All right. And so we've got this idea that in the kingdom is, is this place where if you're a child of the king, you're going to know him, right? I believe full well in the authority of the scriptures and even the closed canon of scripture. At the same time, you can know the words, but not know the author of the words. And I have come out of a place where I have taken some very serious time to have my own convictions set very strongly and to give me the boldness and the confidence to be able to say a lot of the things that are going to now be said on this channel. And I really want to encourage people others that um that have the king is not just the king but he's your father that there's things that are going to start happening now that haven't really happened in church history and there's voices that are going to come out from places that really they would never come out of i i believe i'm one of those voices and i can't wait till i can share my testimony and that's not going to be in this video but you're going to be encouraged to find out where I come from. I believe that the days of college, become a pastor, don't know God, but you get to run a church are over. I prophesy in Jesus' name that, that God's children are qualified, not college degrees. I will tell you right now, I have a lot of respect for a lot of people who do have degrees in theology, and I love theology. But there's a shift. There's a change. All right. Qualifications are not going to come from credentials. Qualifications are going to come from presence. They're going to come from a place of seatedness in the presence of the Lord. And as I close this video, the term seated, as I just said, seated, that's going to come from Luke 24, 49 where it says, Behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until you are endued with power from on high. This is an actual scripture. A, it has real implications here. The word tarry in this place actually means to be seated or to set or sitteth, but to be seated. And this is a place where we sit and we wait. doesn't mean we don't do anything, but it means that we're not out there trying to be relevant and trying to be insecure, trying to make everybody want and need us. All right? We're, our, we're done. And I'm prophesying that people are done with that version of church. All right? It's just over. Call me. I'm not a church bachelor. I, I am submitted. I will do, be doing another video on on uh, on sonship, having a spiritual father, and being submitted, right? Because I am submitted. I, I have an entire group of people, church. We actually have a church. But the American version of the church is getting a facelift right now. And I don't mean this to be destructive. I'm, this is really a good thing. The Lord is changing things right now. And a lot of you are watching this channel, and you've desperately cried out for something to change. And I'm telling you, things are changing. 
And this video, I'm being just very candid and I hope that this is really the direction that I go. I wanna have a lot less cuts. There's gonna be certainly some cuts, so I'm gonna do some cuts. But as much as I can, I want to avoid cuts and I'm going to try to avoid a lot of the deep scripting Although there's certainly going to be times where I'm going to need to script and I'm going to have downloads from the Holy Spirit and we're going to go through things and we're going to systematically and theologically go through some stuff because that is part of this, right? But Christianity doesn't hinge on theology as a totality, right? Theology is part of my walk with God. I study because I know my father and I love my father and I'm drawn to study, but I don't study because I'm going to learn more about my father from simply the act of study, I'm going to learn more about my father from being in his presence. That presence is going to give me the right perspective when I go and I do my study. So I'm really excited, guys. I think I'm going to close this video up right now, but I want you to be encouraged. Please hit the subscribe button and like this channel and let's build a community. Let's build a group. Let's get positioned right? For what God has in store. Because there has been no time like this in the history of the world. And I'm telling you, vocational ministry is no longer a pastor preaching from a pulpit. We have ministries all over. This is a ministry. You're called to a ministry. Everyone, we are getting to walk into some new places and some new things. But I'm really looking forward to the new direction of the channel. I'm going to say just a short prayer as we close, guys, and head into the next week. Father, I just pray for all of the viewers, God, that, that this moment and they've stumbled across this channel, and I pray, God, that this is an inspiration to them, possibly a confirmation for anything that's been said, that you have confirmed things in people that have stumbled across this channel. God, I pray that this platform and the voice that you're giving me here will be edifying to the body of Christ, Father God, that it will lead people into your kingdom, God, that it will lead people into transformation and it will lead people to be born again, Father God. I pray for the, the, the spreading of the gospel of the kingdom, God, instead of the lie that we're all stuck in sinners, but somehow we're born again, even though we're still sinners, yet we're saved by grace, but we're born again and we're transformed, yet we're still sinners. I just demolish that, Father God. I just pray that, that you will just speak truth and life, God, into people who come across this channel that maybe even disagree. But Father God, I just, I close right now and just, Pray that you will bless those that are in your kingdom, Father God. I pray fruit that will, that I, God, I just pray that fruit will bear from, from all of us in this season, God. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. And remember, guys, I'm not going to change this. Many are called, but you are positioned.